Hello, my name is Tanya Kostnavas and I'm a senior at Emory College, double majoring in Neuroscience and Behavioral Biology and Anthropology. Today I'll be presenting about Punica granatum, commonly known as pomegranate. Punica granatum is a plant and fruit in the Punicacea family. The name Punica refers to the Roman name of the city Carthage that was home to the most delicious pomegranates. Granatum refers to the seedy or grainy nature of the fruit. Common names of the fruit also include Ruman in Hebrew, Rimon in Arabic, Anar in Hindi, and Grenade in French. The fruit is not only prevalent in traditional culinary practices, but also in religion, medicinal remedies, mythologies, art, and architecture. Today, the fruit is gaining significant attention for its health and nutritional benefits with a focus on its polyphenol antioxidant properties. In the wild, Punica granatum is a shrub with a bushy appearance and numerous spiny branches. As shown in the image, it is cultivated as a small tree that grows up to 5 to 7 meters. The plant is deciduous and spiny with small narrow leaves. The plant's flowers range from an orange red to dark red in color. The fruit has a leathery rind and the inside consists of 8 to 12 chambers with numerous seeds covered by a tarty, juicy layer that can be a white to a deep red color. A unique feature of the fruit is its pointed calyx. The best yield for pomegranate occurs with neutral soil, high exposure to sunlight, long periods of dry and hot summers, and short periods of mild winters. Punica granatum self-pollinates but also relies on hummingbirds and bees for cross-pollination. Compared to the cultivated pomegranates, the wild pomegranates are more acidic with thicker rinds and smaller seeds. Punica granatum originates in the region between Iran and northern India. Its domestication began during the Neolithic era around 3000 BCE and human migrations introduced the plant to proximal areas such as the Mediterranean. By 800 CE, the fruit was being cultivated from the Spanish peninsula to China. In 1700, Spaniards introduced the fruit to North and South America. Today, its cultivation is widespread as shown in the figure. Based on different cultural preferences and selective pressures, there are more than 500 cultivars of pomegranate. Punica granatum has diverse traditional applications. It is used widely in culinary practices. For example, the juice of the pomegranate fruit is extensively used in the Iranian dishes such as fes and han as shown in the figure to the right. Furthermore, the seed powder of pomegranate is commonly used as a spice in Indian food recipes. In addition, pomegranates have served as symbols in religion and mythology. In Zoroastrianism, the pomegranate was a symbol of fecundity, immortality, and prosperity. The fruit is mentioned in the Bible as a symbol of fertility. In Buddhism, the fruit is one of the three blessed fruits, and the ancient Hindu texts describe it as the food of gods. In Greek mythologies, the fruit was a symbol of love, fertility, and spring. The fruit also has many medicinal purposes, being referred to in Eber's Papyrus as a treatment for a tapeworm infection. Hippocrates mentions it as a treatment for skin and eye inflammation, and Dioscorides prescribed it as a treatment for ulcers and pain in the ears or nostrils. It was also traditionally used to treat inflammation in the mouth and throat for digestion problems and diarrhea. Ayurveda and Unani medicine prescribe it to treat diabetes and parasitic infection. Furthermore, the plant has been used for decorative purposes, commonly appearing in paintings and architecture, such as the painting shown of a Persian princess in the Kohar dynasty. The plant's extracts were used to dye textiles as a major source of ink and in, in, in Egyptian perfumes. The chemistry of Punica granatum consists of tannins, flavonoids, alkaloids, and many other phytochemicals as shown in the table. The most prevalent are elagitannins that are found in the pericarp, bark, seeds, and flowers, and the gallotannins that are found in the leaves. The anthocyanins provide the fruit with its color. The seeds are rich in unsaturated fatty acids, and the juice contains phenolic acids, triterpenes, and minerals, significantly iron. The high levels of anthocyanins and the flavonoids provide the plant with the ability to treat infectious disease, and the various tannins with their astringent properties provide the anti-diarrhea -diar activity. Recent studies have also focused greatly on these health benefits. For example, high levels of antioxidants in Punica granatum have suggested its role in alleviating oxidative stress. A study showed that seed extracts reduced levels of LDL and melondialdehyde, a marker for oxidative stress, in the rat brain in vitro. A recent study showed that rats that orally consumed these flavonoids from pomegranates were protected from high levels of peroxides 
with enhanced activity of peroxidases, SOD, and catalase. Peel and bark extracts have shown antibacterial and antifungal activity. In a recent study, 30 subjects with candidiasis, a dental infection, were given a gel containing extracts from the bark of Ponica granatum, and all subjects showed clearing of infection. In addition, a recent study found that long-term oral intake of the plant's flower extracts lowered triglycerides, cholesterol, and fatty acid contents while increasing tolerance to glucose intake in animal models of diabetes and obesity. In addition, Punica granatum has shown to have cardiovascular effects. Model mice that were treated with pomegranate juice showed lower levels of fatty deposits in arteries. In a 2001 clinical study, pomegranate juice administration for just two weeks helped decrease systolic blood pressure by 36%. Furthermore, there have been numerous studies suggesting the role of Punica granatum as an anti-cancer or anti-tumor plant. One study found that pomegranate juice significantly increases the time it takes for a prostate cancer marker to double in clinical subjects. Studies have also shown that seed oil administration can suppress spread of prostate and skin tumor. Despite its numerous health benefits, it is also important to study the possible toxicity of Punica granatum. For example, consuming the tree bark of the plant or the pericops of fruit may cause gastric inflammation at higher levels. The tannins and alkaloids can result in death. Whole fruit extracts have also shown to cause congestion of internal organs. The pomegranate is a very important fruit in the tropical and subtropical agricultural markets today because of its low maintenance and limited need for moisture. There has been a drastic increase in the exports and imports of pomegranate since the 1960s as shown in the graph. In the year 2009, the total estimation of pomegranate production was 3,086,000 tons of fruit, with the greatest consumers being Peru, Israel, and Maru, and the greatest co uh, producers being Iran and India. Furthermore, the market contains not only the fresh fruit pomegranate, but also many of its derivatives including juices, extracts, dehydrated seeds, jams, jellies, and even cosmetics. Since its cultivation in 3000 BCE, Punica granatum has spread across the globe with widespread applications. Today, the plant is not only appreciated for its fruit, but also for its leaves, flowers, and bark that contain many beneficial phytochemicals. Future studies should focus on these phytochemicals and take advantage of them as constituents for both pharmaceutical drugs and dietary supplements. Nutritionists and health professionals could promote moderate intake of Punica granatum in the regular diet to gain its health benefits. With current findings and further investigations, Punica granatum could play a vital role in addressing a vast range of ailments in the future, including infection, cancer, diabetes, obesity, atherosclerosis, and many more. Thank you very much for your attention today.